guys, welcome back to another episode of how to set up your wireless video system for success. Before we jump into it, if you haven't seen the first scanner video, click right here. This time we're going to show you how you set up your transmitter and receivers uh, according to the information the scanner has given you. So real quick, uh, this scanner is now loaded with the new latest firmware that will allow you to scan Vexus, Teradek, Hollyland, CVW. The Teradek system, it's actually uh, just DFS system. Any DFS system out there would work. So Paralynx, Airy, Swit, those will all work. So before you do uh, the scan, make sure you turn off the receivers. Let me see. Here, turn it off. Turn the transmitter off so that the scanner is gonna not going to tell you that this is huge interference. So now we'll select whatever system that you're using. For this time, it's the Vexus system. So we'll go in and it will do a 15 second scan. It's gonna rank the best channels to the worst channels that you should avoid. Now it's saying that's channel 16, channel one, channel nine are the best. And scroll all the way down, channel 13, channel six are the worst. So now we know how to set up our transmitter and receivers. We'll go over to the transmitter, channel one, We'll go over to our receiver. This is a seven inch monitor with receiver built in from Vaxis. It's a really sweet um, compact build for director's monitor. So once it's turned on, you go ahead and set the channel. Channel one, confirm. Now it's linking and it should be up in no time. And there is also a um, advanced scan, it's a dynamic one. So it's updating the scan result on the fly. So if you have a multiple camera shoot, or if you're setting cameras up that are uh, a little distant from, from the first camera and you have to walk to that, and the scan result may, may differ from that point to this point, then this dynamic advanced scan would be a great advantage. So we're gonna now show you how we uh, set the transmitter and receiver up with the best channel according to the scanner and the worst channel according to the scanner and then we'll walk the range and show you the difference. Well, the transmitter and the receiver are set to the best channel which is channel one. So now we'll take the receiver and then we'll take a walk with it and see how far it'll get us. and it just broke off right now. All right, so we're back at the studio. Uh, we saw that the scanner was telling me that channel six is the worst that we should stay away from. So we're now gonna uh, set the transmitter and receivers to channel six and see if it's any different. Okay, now we have picture. Let's uh, go take a look. Actually, I'm already starting to see a little bit of noise right here if I move. I think I can get this. Um... Yeah, it's cutting out, it's cutting in and out and it's really, really pixelated. So uh, we walked a lot further with the best channel. And with this channel, it not only um, compromised the range, but also the, the transmission quality. In case you're doing DFS system, it's a little different. So all other systems are fixed channel operation, but the DFS system is a uh, automatic scan. So it's gonna show you, instead of the channels, it's gonna show you the frequency point. So we'll do that real quick. We'll turn the scanner off, turn it back on. 
and it'll prompt you to select from a list of systems. We'll go to Teradek, hold, and it's the same thing. It's a 15 second scan and it'll rank the best frequency point to the worst frequency point. For Bolt 1000 XT, Bolt 3000 XT, or some of the second generation Bolt 2000 and Bolt 3000, you can actually hook them up to your computer and through the Bolt software, you'll be able to opt out of certain frequency points that you know are bad. So it'll boost up the efficiency and get you a more successful transmission. And for the transmitters and the receivers, you can also go into the menu items and then manually opt out of certain frequency points that you know are bad. So it's a little, it's a little trickier and more complicated than our system. Uh, you basically just set the channels according to what the scanner is telling you. To stay up to date on our video releases, make sure you hit that subscribe button on our YouTube channel and make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter at hypermedia underscore intl and Hypermedia International Inc. on our Facebook and LinkedIn page. Leave a comment below and tell us what wireless video system you've been using and if you've had any issues with them before. Make sure you hit that like button and share this video to anyone that you think may need help with setting up their wireless system. I'm Frank from Hypermedia. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Click here for another video like this one or click here for something that we think you're like.